What's going on guys? Coach Matt and you go pro baseball.com. I'm here with Dave Valley, Valley Training Gloves and the Valley Shield. That's what we're gonna talk about today. I actually sell this product on my website, you go pro baseball.com. What is it and why this is like a L, L screen on steroids, but why why do guys why do teams, uh, you know, facilities need this? What's the difference between this and an L screen? I had someone come up to me today and they say it's not the Cadillac of L screen, it's the Tesla of L screen. <laughs> so, I like that. Uh, so basically, the whole concept of it is it's a it's a better safety screen, right? Uh, for a couple reasons. One, when we have L screens, you have a two inch steel pipe, sometimes covered in padding, sometimes not. 10, 15 feet away from the hitter, right? And we're doing flips, and we're asking the kid to hit the ball to the middle. What do we think is gonna happen, right? Ball hits off the metal, it comes back at the hitter. And it, there's actually been a lot of instances of guys getting seriously injured, you know, with that. So basically, this right here, this front hanging net, it's 96 netting up front, double dipped, heavy duty, it's on springs. It protects any metal from getting hit, right? So now when the ball hits it, the net just kind of catches it, engulfs it, and drops it down safely towards the ground. Almost by accident with the design, it lasts about five times longer than Trish Nelson. screen. Because it's loosely hanging and because it's such heavy duty, this is the only thing that will ever wear out. The frame never gets hit, so the frame should literally last you forever as long as you have a front hanging net. If this ever does wear out, and right now, so we've been around for about six years, and we've yet to sell a front hanging net to a college, high school, or indoor facility, okay, in six years. The only replacement front hanging nets we've sold is to pro teams. Right, about every two and a half years, one of the proteins will get a replacement front hanging net. All you have to do is this right here. This would just slide off. You buy a new front hanging net. You have a brand new screen for another six years or whatever it may be. Right? We're in 29 of the 30 major league stadiums today. They've all switched over to using this instead of a traditional L screen. Okay, and uh, a lot of big league ball players, Manny Machado, Mookie Betts, Kyle Schwarber. I just chatted with the other day. They have them in their house. Luis Gonzalez has them in his house, Mark McGuire, some, some of the, some guys that we would know, they purchased them in the house just because it's safer and it lasts longer. You know, I, the one thing that I used to hate so much in when I was training in the facility is when I would throw a ball and it would hit off the net yep. and come back and bam, right in the head. Yep. And what do we got up here? Yeah, so what's cool about it is after this safety design, we, we decided if we're gonna reinvent an L screen, what don't we like about L screens? So this is what we did. One of the things is what you're talking about. Every coach that's ever thrown BP hates getting hit off the dome, off the top of the cage. So we have this extension. What's unique about this extension is it's much longer than other L screen extensions. And the reason that we can do that is because our screen doesn't have to flip around. So this right here, this everything just pops off. It's incredibly easy to, to transition. Because this front hanging net always has to face the hitter, Normally, if it's a lefty or righty, I would have to flip the screen around for a lefty and righty. We can't do that. So what we came up with this is this wing right here. It's set up for a lefty. All I do, I pop it off, flip it over to this side, and drop it in. Now I'm set up for a righty. So it's actually quicker and easier to transition from lefty to righty than a traditional L screen. Right? Some of the other things we didn't like, what don't we like about L screens is the wheels always break. Mm -hmm. Right? The wheels are always out to the side. They get smashed or big ricochet, you know, issues, and then they would smash. They get break within the first week. Our wheels are in the rear, right? So they're protected back here, right? Which also makes it really easy to move. What L screens are a pain to move in the bandit cage, especially yeah. the heavy duty ones. They're they're awful. So this right here, all I would do is I grab this, rock it back, and wheel like a wheelbarrow, right? Very easy to move. It's about a hundred pounds, but it feels light, right? My dad's a little bit of an older gentleman now, former football player. He is player. not. Ah. <laughs> John. What? <laughs> One of the things that he hated, he said, I'm, I'm tired of bending over to pick up baseballs. Right? So he said, we got to come up with a ball holder that's my waist height. Right? One of the things right here. What's nice about this, it just pops off. It can move to either side. So if I'm throwing BP and my arm following through, I don't have to worry about hitting it. I can slide it off to the side. Okay. Um, another one thing that we, we don't like about L screens or something, something that's maybe not as safe as this, this other accessory is we do a lot of machine feeding, right? If you got a wheel machine, a hack attack, or, or uh, you know, any, any machine really that throws a real baseball, the machine would sit on the outside of the, of the screen, you'd feed, a ball could come back, hit that screen and ricochet and hit the feeder, right? Which is actually really dangerous to, for those ricochets. So this right here, you'd put the machine on the outside, I'd feed, I'd be completely protected. 
right? We actually sell a lot of these also for ricochets off side poles and batting cages. Right, so that pole that always seems to be in the worst spot, right? You're playing, you're throwing BP here, and then you hit that side, and it comes in, you end up dodging that thing, right? That protects from that as well. The one other thing that I've got smoked in the ankle numerous times because some of those L screens sit really high, and there's a gap. Oh, it's unfortunately, about the base size of a baseball yeah. that can get through there if you smash it. And this one, you've got to get through the net first of all, and then the bottom of it is a lot lower. So there's no way you're getting smashed in the ankle like a traditional L screen. Absolutely. The one other unique thing about it too is just again, you know, we're just a bunch of baseball guys trying to come up with solutions for things, you know, that that we see all the time, and uh, even right down to our front legs. Most L screens have tubing, right, and they have a cap on. Them. That that cap will break within the first week. Right? One hit, it's broken, it's shattered, it's on the floor, you pick it up, throw in the garbage. This right here, it's angled, right? No caps. So after that cap breaks, it ends up cutting all your baseballs. Every time you hit it there, you hit a cut in the baseball, right? We've all seen that before. Right? This is angled, it doesn't cut the baseball, it's not a ricochet issue. And it, uh, you know, so even right down to the leg, we tried to think of that. So obviously, this is a much safer option than the traditional L screen, but I really want one just because it's freaking cool. <laughs> like the pros got it. It looks cool. It's black. You know, I mean, this is just, it's amazing. So really cool product. Thank uh, you. I, uh, I appreciate you letting me sell it. You go pro baseball.com. Pro um, and uh, if you guys have any questions about it, hit us up. You know, if I can't, if I don't have the answer to it, I'll reach out to Dave and we'll get the answer for you. But uh, any questions you have, leave them down in the comments section below. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Absolutely. John, you are not old, my man. I love you. <laughs> I miss you. Talk to you soon.